Anna Marie, aka Rogue, started off her life on the wrong foot, but turned herself into one of the most notable X-Men characters. A story that deserves a continuation now within the MCU, and it could be possible if the rumors of her making her debut in the upcoming The Marvels movie are true. Which is why I decided to give you a first look into things and see where her journey will lead her next. In recent times, Marvel Studios has been playing around with a bunch of stuff. From the diversity of their heroes, female lead characters, which is a rare thing in the superhero genre, all the way to how they can bring in the mutants into the MCU, something that they couldn't do in the past because of the rights for the characters belonging to 20th Century Fox. And now, it made it harder to implement them into the already complex MCU. One of the reasons behind the hardiness of their debut in the MCU poses one big question. Where have they all been so far? Like, why haven't they showed up when planet Earth was near extinction at the hand of Thanos? And numerous other times. These are just some of the big questions that Marvel needs to answer, so that it all makes sense at the end of it all. And this is where the multiverse comes in. Marvel did a phenomenal job of implementing that entire sequence of events into the MCU, something that they must have planned for quite a while now in advance, in order to bring the mutants into the MCU when the time comes. Which brings me to today's time of the MCU and everything that comes along with it. The multiverse is a tricky thing to understand, but hopefully Marvel will do a good job of explaining things and showing us how everything is connected within the MCU and how the likes of the X-Men can be brought into their beloved MCU. Around two years ago, at a time when the rights of the mutants had already been bought by Disney from 20th Century Fox, a rumor suggested that Rogue, one of the most prominent members of the X-Men, could be coming into the MCU. However, no one has heard anything ever since. Over the years, despite not being put in the spotlight, the character of Rogue was played by a couple of actresses, with each of them bringing her own feeling to the character. And even though this is not something entirely bad per se, it is definitely something that caught the fans eye. And now, the MCU might be getting an entirely different version of the character, which should mean that the fans will get yet another version of the character. But this time, I think it will be final solely because of the fact that Marvel is not a company that recast roles easily. Back to the rumor that popped up, which said that Rogue could come to the MCU as soon as the next The Marvels movie, Brie Larson's sequel, a movie that is one of the most highly anticipated movies to come. Not only because it has been a long time since we say Captain Marvel in a bigger capacity, but also because there will be two additional big names from the MCU joining Carol Danvers, with the three of them having somewhat similar powers between them. And when the three of them are needed for the movie, or particularly for the upcoming threat, then the movie should be something even bigger than themselves, right? The interesting thing that has been said about Rogue was that her debut in the MCU could have a huge twist, with her not being part of the X-Men, like all her previous outings in the MCU, but rather part of another group. But for that, you will have to wait a bit, something I will dive deeper into further down the line. And for now, let's see who Rogue actually is, for those of you who are not really familiar with the character. And without further ado, let me dive right in. Rogue character had one of the strangest ways of how she discovered her powers, and it was after she hit that like button just like you should if you haven't already. But no. In all seriousness, she discovered her powers when she shared her first kiss with a boy and it put him in a coma. Her power skill set includes an uncontrollable ability to absorb someone else's energy through physical contact, temporary incorporation of their abilities, powers, memories, and even personality, something that wears her victims down. As a runaway, she was found by Mystique and Destiny as part of Mystique's terrorist group called Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Accidentally through Destiny, she learned that Miss Marvel was destined to bring tragedy to their lives. Deciding to secretly attack Miss Marvel, she absorbs her powers and permanently kept her flight, super strength, as well as her psyche. Thus, gravely affected by this experience, she seeks help from Mystique's enemy, Professor Charles Xavier, the founder and leader of the X-Men, who then takes her in as part of the team. Despite the others not being fond of his decision, Rogue, soon after joining the team, proves her worth and becomes one of the most loyal friends of Xavier. With the X-Men, Rogue found peace and even managed to get rid of Miss Marvel's identity. 
At one point, Rogue also becomes part of the Avengers Unity Division, a team designed to improve mutant-human relations, where she becomes a leader at one point. So you can see that her life, even though it started on a rough patch, she made her way through the ranks and became one of the most honorable members of the X-Men team. And this is probably what you need to know regarding the character and her basics and her history up until this point. Now I think it's time I shift my focus towards the thing that I mentioned before, her debut in the MCU, something you all have been waiting for, I suppose. We love what you've done with your hair. And before I move forward, there will be spoilers up ahead regarding the Miss Marvel series. And with that out of the way, let me continue. The season's finale of the Miss Marvel series reveals the mutant status of Kamala Khan, which could indicate that two huge X-Men rumors could happen in the aforementioned The Marvels movie or in the near future. So far, there have been two official mutant-related confirmations. Kamala Khan, after Bruno's test on her, and the sighting of Professor Charles Xavier in the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness movie, in which he made a cameo in as part of the Illuminati group of Earth 838. A third one came through in the form of the recent Deadpool 3 movie that will showcase Hugh Jackman's return into the role. But now, as part of the MCU, these could all very well be hints as to what comes next in the MCU's Phase 5 and Phase 6 over the course of what is now called the Multiverse Saga, and that the mutants are on their way. The inclusion of Miss Marvel as a mutant would also change things for the entire Marvel Universe, in the sense that she would be the first mutant within Earth 616 that has been introduced. Along with the upcoming The Marvels movie, two of the most often rumored cast members outside of the main cast members have been Rogue from the X-Men and the Star Jammers, who are basically the X-Men's version of the Guardians of the Galaxy ragtag group of misfits who would be smashing that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell. However, on the more serious side of things, they would be willing to do some dirty work that others don't want to do. The Star Jammers are simply space pirates who made a home for Captain Marvel after she left planet Earth. And having them appear in the upcoming Captain Marvel sequel seems that much more plausible. Now that the MCU already has a mutant of its own in the form of Kamala Khan, Rogue's debut in the Marvels movie would mean that she could be the story's supervillain, since her first appearance in the comics was as a bad guy. Her being part of the cast would solidify the X-Men within the MCU, and all of us get the eternal rivalry between Carol Danvers and Rogue from the comics, getting adapted into the live action. On the other hand, the introduction of the Star Jammers into the MCU could possibly follow Carol Danvers' story, where she loses everything and retreats from Earth to travel with the Star Jammers. The MCU could play with the idea of how Thor found solace with the Guardians of the Galaxy and Captain Marvel doing the same thing with the Star Jammers. Her adventures with the Star Jammers could also explain where Carol Danvers was during the post-blip five years period. These two mutant entities joining the Marvels would spell a bright future for the MCU and would show people how mutant kind will be introduced to the audiences. See you in the next video.